The fact that they can fail and die is what provides the incentive to survive. But governments can't die. So we need to find other incentives for bureaucracy to adapt and improve. The technology revolution has transformed organizations across the private sector. But not ours, not fully, not yet. We are, as they say, uh, tangled in our anchor chain. Our financial systems are decades old. According to some estimates, we cannot track $2.3 trillion in transactions. For the sixth year in a row now and counting, the Pentagon has failed its yearly audit. Look, the Department of Defense has around $4 trillion in assets. We're talking about weapons and other supplies. But this audit report found that around half of those assets can't be accounted for. Uh, federal government agencies face yearly audit audits as determined by federal law. And look, uh, the Pentagon, like I said, has failed six years in, in a row. According to the Department of Defense, the Pentagon passed seven of its 29 sub-audits this year. The Department of Defense makes up more than half of all U.S. discretionary spending, and auditing the Pentagon can be tough due to the department's size and scope. But with government spending continuing to be under a microscope as Congress works to pass a long-term deal and address the debt ceiling, criticism rolled in about this audit finding. Republican House Majority Majority Whip Tom Ember posted to social media, quote, government agencies need to be held to the same standard as any business in America. This is unacceptable. Meantime, Alabama Republican Representative Barry Moore also posted to social media, writing, quote, the Pentagon receives a trillion dollars in taxpayer funds annually, but can't pass a simple audit. No wonder we're nearly $34 trillion in debt. In response to the audit findings, Pentagon staff recently said the results gave a big opportunity to improve. Take a listen. We're working on improving our process. Um, while it wasn't the results that we wanted, um, we certainly are learning each time an audit passes. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a continuing, it's a continuing and ongoing process that this building is assessing. We will note, too, that the same number of sub-audits failed last year as compared to this year. And now a group of Republican and Democratic uh, lawmakers are working on a proposal that would ensure that the Department of Defense passes its annual audit. Mr. Mansfield. Uh, waste for 200. Waste for 200. I'm really counting on you here, Mr. Mansfield. A program that is $183 billion dollars over budget and 10 years behind schedule. Uh, what is the Joint Strike Fighter program? What is the what? Is it the Joint Strike Fighter program? What? That's correct. What is the F-35 program? Correct. We were warned on the year of my birth, 1961, in his farewell speech, President Eisenhower said the following, this conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry is the new American experience, yet we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. I have a copy of the NDAA of that year, the 1962 NDAA as drafted in 1961. I have a copy of it on my desk. It's one page long, seven and a half billion dollars, covers the entire expenditure my, 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 now we have descended into the belly of this beast. In the private sector, a corporate entity or business goes to a bank for financial establishment and is therefore subject to audit. On a regular basis, the bank audits that business. If the business passes the audit, then the business can return to the bank for more money. 
the business fails the audit, what do you think happens, Mr. Mansfield? Can that business go to the bank and get more money? Cannot. Cannot. Or maybe it's a minor error. Maybe it's a minor error. They make adjustments. They have another audit. They fail that audit. Does the bank change course? Say, well, you tried. We're going to give you money. Can they get money, Mr. Mansfield? No. They cannot. Not. Thank you for your candor. Here's the problem with this bank. We don't even have the money. We're giving you a trillion dollars a year almost now. We just added a trillion dollars to our national debt in one month. It's, it's an arrogantly abusive culture that we have allowed to become manifest over there that devours the people's wealth. So, let's shift to a positive note, Mr. Mansfield. For the record, how long have you been in your position, good sir? Uh, my current position, about a year and a half. Year and a half. You stepped into the fire, man. I would imagine you're a patriot, very good at what you do. You, you, I'm sure you envisioned fixing this thing. Did you not? I envision the department fixing it. Our job is Talk to, about your, to validate your, them. You, through your leadership and guidance and supervision, through your skills, you would endeavor to produce a clean or relatively clean audit out of the DOD. Uh, it's, up, it's not up to me whether the audit's clean or not, meaning it, it really depends on the department uh, getting its financial health in order. We just report the facts as they are. You're in the middle of that, though, aren't you? Yes, sir. Along with the gentleman sitting next to you. My, my closing seconds, can any of you gentlemen promise in the near future a clean audit, Mr. Tenaglia? So I would uh, ask the comptroller to help me provide you with a timeline that, that the comptroller is indicating is the pathway to a clean audit. We're looking for a glimmer of hope here, gentlemen, Mr. Mansfield. Uh, I can only commit to continuing to assess the department and being as uh, transparent as we can with how we see it. And as of right now, I don't think their timelines as their valiant standard. effort, good sir, there. Mr. Khan. No, GAO cannot project a time when DOD is going to be auditable. Through our recommendations, we are forcing them to get auditable, but it's really up to them to implement those recommendations and reach that goal. Thank you, gentlemen, for your testimony today.